vote for me November the 19th. I'm running independent as a park sport candidate and I want Stanley Park back. I want English Bay back. I want control of all our parks and our city. So, thank you very much. I love you all. That's a tough one to follow, fellows. Hello, Vancouver. This is what democracy looks like. I'm so proud of being part of Vancouver today. You know, we've been marching around and part of my voice is a little bit worn out for the yelling and screaming. But this is democracy, people's democracy. You're giving an example to the 99% of people that are not standing here today. We call on all those 99% people that are not standing up here today to come and join us. This is your cause as well. I just want to tell you a little bit of my background. I come from Chile. I came as a political refugee to this country 24 years ago. That country, Chile, was the first country that neoliberal policies were introduced under a massacre, under a military dictatorship that lasted way, way too long. Many people die there defending the rights that we're standing for here today. Many people have died all over Latin America They're standing for the rights that we're fighting for here today. That's why I want to tell you also a little bit about the good news that are happening across South America. Particularly, I have wonderful news from my home country. In Chile, the student movement have woken up society finally for once and for all. The student people, the young people, the third generation after the dictatorship realized that neoliberal policies were destroying society. They were destroying the possibilities for them to have a future. They were destroying the possibilities to have community. They stood up not only for the rights of a free education for all, but they understood that we needed to change the system to change the education system as well. That's why today in Chile, the student movement is leading a mass movement of hundreds of thousands of people that are on a general strike from today, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. That is happening in Greece, that is happening in Spain, that is happening in the Middle East, that is happening in the United States, and it's finally happening in Canada as well. This is a people's movement, this is a global movement, so we need to stand our ground. We need to be here day after day, night after night. We need to stand here in solidarity, not only for the our cause, not only for our local issues, not only for our national issues, but for the issues of our people around the world. As they say, a damage to one is a damage to all. Where there is injustice, injustice in one place, there is injustice everywhere. That's why people that are organizing, people that are participating in events like this, want you to be part of it. Want you to set up education uh, tables, information tables, want you to talk to each other, want you to share our experiences, want to learn from each other. This is a process where all, we are all going to grow as people. So let's continue to be strong. Let's continue to stand here until we make change happen. This is what democracy looks like.
Thank you. Thank you. Mic check. <laughs>